So we've got here a Trust 17966 Titan 2.1 speaker set and this is the one with the UK plug and it costs 52.99 and that date is as of January 2014. Um, and that was from Amazon.com. So we've got the box here and you can see that it's got the two normal speakers left and right and then you've got the subwoofer here and the control unit with the twisty knob on top to change the volume and the two jack inputs for the headphones and your phone and tablet input and if we look down the front you'll see it's got these main areas here and it says 120 watts power the phone and tablet input headphone connection remote control PC and Mac compatible three year warranty which is very good and the smart power management which means that after 60 minutes the unit will turn itself off. So if we turn the box around now you'll see on the back, I don't know how clear it is on the camera but it says 120 watt speaker set with big wooden subwoofer high quality sound with deep bass convenient wide volume control with headphones and iPod MP3 connections and then with volume and bass control at the side and that's the English and all the rest is other countries and that's the whole unit there all laid out so we'll now open it up so in the top we've got a quick installation guide which is on the top of here some legal and compliance information and a used piece of cellophane and this looks like it's the main UK plug on the top and some other audio cables the main audio jack and the wires which run from the speakers to the subwoofer by the looks of things so I'm trying to remove this subwoofer now if I can and that box is now empty so I'm going to remove these there's some things in here, the speakers, left and right for the stereo and the main subwoofer unit just here So there's the main subwoofer. And then we've got two speakers here. So there's one. And here's the second one. Guessing the control units around as well. Somewhere. I don't know where that's got to. No, it's in here, I think. So we've got the main audio cables and left and right audio cable, and then there is the main audio unit here, the control unit, and. It's got an anti-slip pad underneath and that's how you adjust the volume and you've got your headphones and MP3 I think that port is or iPod connection and then that just plugs into the back. So we're looking at the main unit here and you've got the audio in and audio out, the left and right which is white and red and the eco mode button so you've got on and off and the volume control which is as well as the main control unit and then you've got the base as well which you can control from here so that's minimum and you can put it all the way to maximum and then we've also got the main on and off switch which is here which is quite stiff and then you've obviously got the plug which comes out the back so we're now going to plug everything in and I'll just have to undo this 
and you've got your main audio jack which goes into your computer. I'm just going to put it in the laptop here. So that goes into there. So we've got the audio in from the control unit left and right and then there are the two speakers and they're colour coded so you know which one's left and which one's right. The white one is on the left and the red one is on the right. So I'm just going to do these and then that goes into the left side here for the out. And this one goes on the right hand side for the right. So there you go like that, and then you've got the main power unit, a lot of wires around, but you switch it on there, and then you can turn it around. So we're going to record the volume of the speakers, um, first of all with a low volume, and then we're going to increase the volume, and we will then bring the bass in, and have it playing with the bass, and then we're going to bring, take the bass back out again, and then lower the volume. So you get a good idea of how it all works with low volume, uh, with no bass and then high volume with bass and high volume without bass and hopefully this will give you a good idea. So I'm going to start the music now and then I'll increase the volume and then bring the bass in. So this is low volume. So hopefully this microphone gave you a better idea of what these speakers sound like and hopefully this microphone has given a better representation of what the sound quality is actually like because the microphone integrated into the camera isn't that good. So hopefully you have enjoyed this unboxing review of the Trust Titan speakers.